Man. I really don't even know where to start for real. Because this ain't even my character. I don't really be getting on here and giving y'all what y'all want. But I feel like my daddy want me to give y'all what y'all want. And he want me to give him what he want as well. Okay, so he always speaking on my sexuality. The whole world know that. Um, and it it been about two years now that I I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like I'm gonna accept him and love him for who he is. So I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha and he used the word contaminating. And putting my siblings in it with that. If you know me, this shit make me so mad. If you know me, I love and respect my siblings with everything in me. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you getting on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers you don't want to let grow up. But okay. Another thing. You keep speaking on me gay. You keep, keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said... You found out I was gay, that I like girls and I had a girlfriend from a picture that went viral. That was a lie. I let that slide. I never addressed it. You found out I was gay a year before that. The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a gay B word, when you called me a gay B word. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before and I forgave you, you wouldn't even understand. And no matter how you feel, at the end of the day, nigga, I'm your blood. I am your daughter. And me, I feel like I done been through the most with you. And every time I turn around, it's like you bash me. It's like you bash me. And it's like the whole world can go against you. But I haven't won. Since I've been a little girl, I never would go against you. And I think I'm really fed up. And you get to talking about God. Like, I don't know my God. He talking about God and how I grew up. I know my God from Nita. From my mama. My mama sent me scriptures every morning. My mama put me in the church home. I don't recall not one time I'm ever getting up with you and you taking me to, to the Lord's house. I don't I don't never recall it. I didn't I didn't learn that from you. I learned to hustle from you. I learned to not let nobody play with me from you. Even if it's you. You get what I'm saying? And it's and it's crazy because I never downplayed you. I never said you was a bad father because you not. 
you gonna make sure your kids straight. You always gonna do that. But emotionally, mentally, you suck. You suck, bro. And I know you suck with that because you rather go to the internet and have a conversation with the internet about your kids before you come to us and have that conversation. He done did about six, seven interviews about me being gay, right? We ain't not never have, he ain't never not have one sit down with me, myself, just him and Aviana, and ask me, why you became that way, fat? What what triggered you? What, he is it, it never been that. Every answer, every question y'all asking him, and he giving y'all them answers, if I go ask him that, he wouldn't give me an answer. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't, he don't. The things that he do, bruh. I would have never thought he would do. And it's like, I came to the point to where. Uh, yesterday, it just really did it to me. Because. I'm like, bro, I would not, I would always not say something because I would feel like I'm not finna get on here and disrespect my pops. I'm not finna get on here and go against the green and go against my daddy. Nobody finna make me do that. But it's like, you making me do that. They not even making me do that. You making me do that, nigga, because you steady speaking on me. You steady, like, I would respect if you, if you just say, just one time, just say, my daughter know how I feel about that. Can we move on to the next question? I can never get that from you. If y'all go look at my interviews, y'all will see. Anytime they try to make it like my daddy don't fuck with me or he this and that, I say he love me regardless. This my pops. I ain't going against him. Y'all ain't going to turn me against him. I always stood on it. And it's like, I feel like you just don't be caring. You just don't care about my feelings no more. You just don't care about my heart. Because you're entitled to feel how you feel. You're entitled to your own opinion. Everybody is. Everybody is. And then another thing, I take a lot of backlash from you. I take a lot of backlash from you, Pops. Like, like a lot of people be scared to work with me. A lot of people don't want to work with me. A lot of opportunities, a lot of op opportunities have been missed. Because you are my father. But that's something I can't change. You know what I'm saying? So I don't go around like, I don't fuck with that nigga anyway. Because he don't fuck with me. I don't do that just so I can get on. You know what I'm saying? And with this music shit. If you broadcast my music the way you broadcast me being gay. Maybe I'll be further than what I am. But you so worried about me being gay. You can't even see my, my true talent. The world always talking about, I know your dad is so proud of you. He should be so proud of you and all that. Man, I don't remember the last time he told me that. I don't remember the last time I got that from him. And I'm always grateful. It don't matter what he gives me. It don't matter. And I barely even ask him for something. That's why I want, him, want, want my own so bad. That's why I'm hosting the debut. That's why I'm trying to do little features. That's why I'm doing little interviews, because I want my own. I want my own, and he know that. He know that, bro. Like, that don't make no sense. I pay for most of my videos. I pay for most of this. You're not doing nothing. You're not supporting me like you should, and I don't hold that against you. I don't hold that against you. I still love you. I still don't downplay you, talk about you. But... I'm tired of sparing. I'm tired of sparing and I'm tired of just feeling like I'm just letting you play with me because you my pops. I'm tired of feeling like that. And I love you regardless. I'm always going to love you. But it's no way I'm finna keep letting you speak on me and I'm not going to speak on you. It's no way I can't do that. And for the people that, that do support me and do know Ivy, I appreciate you. With everything in my heart, I appreciate y'all for allowing me to just be myself, express myself, express myself through these, through this music, through YouTube channels, anything I want to do. I appreciate y'all. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's fucked up because the haters, like, that's something I can be used to. Like, they don't know me. They, they, they can comment on my life and do what they want. That's something that I can't let get me upset. You, though, you, though, like, you know me. You my daddy. You don't, you, 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 you don't continue to, to down me. You don't do that. You don't do that, especially if I ain't never do it, do it to you. I ain't never done that to you. It's certain things that the world would never know that I'll take to my grave for you. And you know that. You know that. It's certain things that I know, certain conversations that you done told me, certain hurtful words you done told me that, that half of the people that still respect you wouldn't even respect you. And you know this. You know this, bro. But I'm really kind of disappointed that I had to come on here and do this. And, and I let it get to me like this. But, bro, I feel like this is the only way I can feel better. And y'all probably say, why you don't call him? Why you don't go to him? Why he don't call me and come to me? Why he don't do me that? So, with that being said, that'll be my last time speaking on it. As long as it's his last time speaking on it. And it probably won't be. I'll just put this, I, I, I use my music to vent. And if y'all would have been listening, y'all would have been hearing little things in my music. Because that's what I use to vent. That's what I use to cope. So in October, I drop a new project. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to me and Jordan YouTube channel. I've enjoyed it. And I pray that everybody just keep being them. Be you. Because you, you. And at, at the end of the day, everybody is human. You human, I'm human, and he human too, if he don't know it. So, yeah. Damn, I'm back on the contaminating, because why would you even say that? Like, like, you make it sound like I'm, like, ill or something. Like, nigga, what? Like, contaminating. If anything, you're contaminating. How about that? You got a whole song about two girls kissing in the back seat. You've been, you've been performing this since I was about three, four years old. So what you talking about? You still perform it on stage now. If that ain't contaminating, then what is?